DeepSeek R1 has been taking the world by storm and I made a video on my other channel that ran the models locally. So I'm gonna go a bit more in depth in this video. So I have four versions of the model I'm gonna try out. I have the 1.5 version, I have the 7B version, 14 and 32. Now, it's worth noting that also the 14B is F16, so we're putting the, like we're not quantizing this whatsoever. Same with the 1.5B and the 7B. But sadly, we gotta do it for the 32B because there's no way. And I'll be running this on an NVIDIA 5090 graphics card. So thank you, NVIDIA, for sending that to me. So first, we're gonna do the 1.5 model. Okay, so we finally got the model loaded. It took a while, but you can see it's taking about 4.42 gigabytes of memory. A farmer has 17 sheep, all but nine die. How many sheep are left? Just to let you know, the answer is nine, okay? So this one got it wrong. It's a 1.5 billion parameter model, but you saw how fast that went. We're at 115 tokens per second. So like right there, the reasoning is wrong. It's not smart. Next up, we have the Quen 7B model. I have flash attention on just in case. Again, if you're smarter than me, you probably know what that means, but I think it means it's gonna work better. So that time it got it right. We're at half the amount of tokens per second though. So we're at 60 tokens per second. Funny how it, the thought process is getting it wrong. Therefore, subtracting the nine sheep from the total number of sheep gives us the number of sheep that are left, but that's just not true. So I'm just gonna regenerate. So again, it does get it right. I don't know what these numbers mean exactly because it doesn't seem to be 100% correct. I mean, we could also just try the strawberry problem too. Let's try that. The answer is three if you didn't know. Oh, I don't know what happened there with the format. I don't know if that's an LM studio type of thing. So this is, again, this is what's really weird. The thought process is only saying it's one. If you look right here, it literally just says there's only one letter R that appears in this process. And that's just clearly is not the case. But then after the thought comes down, it kind of starts to do it again. It says the third letter is an R, okay, which makes sense. There are two more letters after that, which are also R. So like, again, this makes sense as well. So they guess it right after that. I wonder what the reasoning is behind here. So I decided to start on a creative task for it. I did create 10 YouTube titles for a video reviewing the large language model called DeepSeek R1. Please make the title 55 characters or under. Make sure they're intriguing. Include the DeepSeek R1 in the title for better SEO. Right now you can actually see that it's taking about 20 gigabytes of memory. So we've got to 60 tokens per second. Let me see what it says, unlock the power. No, so it didn't even do it there. So if I look over here, 60 seven characters right there. No offense here, Deep Seek R1. It just kind of looks like it's AI generated. Actually, if you look at any video on YouTube right now about AI, it's like pretty uncanny to be honest. So next up, we have the 14 billion parameter model. But the issue is with this one, I think, is that it's taking up a lot of memory. <laughs> so if you look at my GPU, all 32 gigabytes are basically accounted for for this model. And if you go to my memory, <laughs> it went way up right here. I don't know how it's gonna perform, but it's worth a shot, right? So it did get the answer correct, which is good, but we're at 23 seconds. On my video, I had the Q4 version of the 32B model go like almost 40 tokens per second. And that I find is kind of like my baseline acceptable level. I wouldn't say this is, but it was pretty smart to be honest with what I just said here. Now the strawberry prompt that everyone seems to do, it was able to get it in the, the thought process and it got it right there too. Now let's give the YouTube prompt a try here. It's not necessarily that it's stupid. It's just why are emojis being put into YouTube titles? I'm not happy with these results. I mean, these definitely are under 55 characters from what I can understand, but a bit generic, but I want to say like, you need to include that it's being locally. It's honestly not bad now that I'm using it, to be honest. There's some that needs to be kind of understood too with this whole reasoning model is that because it is running like a thought process that's kind of useless to us, it does make things feel a little bit slower. DeepSeek R1 locally, the AI that changed my world. My journey with local DeepSeek R1, wow. I'm not a fan of these, to be <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the 32B model right here. Now. 
be warned, this is Q4 quantized, so it's dramatically reduced from the other ones that we've been doing. You can see though that it's not taking up nearly as much VRAM. So I feel like we could even go up a quantization if we wanted to. Now, if you've seen the video on my channel already, you kind of already know the results of this, but I'm, I do want to see if it gets it. And so it gets the answer right. It gets the, the number, which is good. It also got the formatting right too, which I think is cool. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like just because of this whole thinking process right here, it's hard to kind of understand how fast it's going. It seems slower than it actually is because it's doing that. So hold up, this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Usually the context is not this big. It's kind of like debating itself if it is two or three. Okay, <laughs> you're filling up my, my RAM. So we got 31 tokens per second, which that's good. But I'm going to delete this and we're going to try again. So it got it right that time again. So if you want to run DeepSeek R1 on your own machine, I mean, you could probably get away with something like the NVIDIA 40 cards instead of the 50, which are probably sold out at the moment. And that's DeepSeek R1 at different levels on a local machine. So I know that there's going to be some dinguses in the comments who are going to be like, well, technically that's not the uh, real model. It's like, okay, dip. I know that it's not the real model, okay? I don't have eight A100s I can spend like 200 grand on. I have a consumer PC. I think that the quantization method is completely the best way to go. Running the full FP16 models on this device was great for its accuracy. It was much better than the Q4s that I did in the short video, but it just kind of was like so bulky. I think if I was to move forward with any of these models, it would probably be the 14 b model at maybe q6 qa quantization so i still get that speed but a bit of that intelligence as well let me know if you want me to run more local models here on my pc